we asked listeners in the United States for their views on the significance of Soviet-American relations. We also wanted to know what areas of cooperation, in their opinion, can yield the best results. Soviet connection. Tonight's report. Only in America. <laughs> Secretary Panetta, great to see you. <laughs> Nice to be with you guys. Thank you. Yes, I agree to be with John. Please, this here man of yours. Yes. 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 There it is. Okay, let's see what that says. Secretary Panetta, been around the block, hashtag great experience. <laughs> well, you know, let me make clear, we have the, the best fighting men and women in the world, but they're backed up by a personnel system that uh, is outdated. It was developed uh, after World War II to deal with the Soviet Union. Uh, and uh, frankly, it's, it's 70 years old, doesn't keep up with the needs that we face today in 2017. Uh, and so what we've got to do is develop a personnel system that reaches out to the skills we're going to need in cyber, in languages, in technology, uh, and really tries to retain people uh, in those areas because we, that's what we need mm -hmm. in order to be able to provide for security in this country. Mr. Secretary, Matt said you've been around the block, which is a nice way of saying you've had, <laughs> you just, know how a, I meant that. you've just, had just about every job you could have in Washington. I know you recently served on a task force, a bipartisan task force, looking into this issue of how we can reform our system of military personnel. I feel like we always are talking about systems or equipment, but you looked at this issue. What's the greatest need? Well, first of all, it affects the credibility of the President of the United States. Uh, and, you know, all the President has 
uh, really is trust, uh, needs the trust of the American people, needs the trust of the world in terms of what he says. But in addition to that, uh, when it impacts on the credibility of the office, uh, it impacts on our relationship with the rest of the world. The world now uh, obviously is very upset. We've upset the British. Uh, the German situation uh, didn't turn out the best uh, the other day. Uh, he, it is impacting on our ability to deal with other countries and to deal with the issues related to our national security. So I, I think it's just very important for this president to put this issue aside and move on to the real responsibilities he has as president. deal with the threat from North Korea. What's the Isn't bigger it time to focus on those issues? What's the bigger issue here? What do allegations like these, if they are unsubstantiated, do to our standing in the world? <laughs> Well, frankly, uh, I don't get it, and I don't think America gets it uh, as to why the president continues to uh, to defend uh, his statements here. Uh, you know, he made a he made an allegation. There's no evidence to support it. He asked for an investigation by the House and Senate Intelligence Committees. Uh, they've done that and determined that there's no evidence. I, I think the time has come for the president to accept the responsibility that uh, he made a mistake here, that uh, there is no truth to this allegation. Uh, he probably should apologize, I think, to the president, uh, President Obama. And frankly, he should move on. He's got to deal with uh, the issue of health care. He's got to deal with uh, a Supreme Court justice who's in hearings this week. <laughs>
My purpose here is to clearly demonstrate to all concerned that you are indeed insane. Let's go back to that wiretapping issue, Secretary Panetta. As you mentioned, there, there, does, there seems to be widespread agreement that there is no evidence at the moment to support the president's claim. Then why do you think, as a guy who's been around the block, why do you think the president and the White House would continue to double down on something like this when Director Comey can so easily take the air out of their argument? <laughs> Well, obviously, uh, everyone is looking forward to it. So it, uh, you know, it is something that I think uh, America is going to be paying attention to. I suspect that uh, on the issue of uh, the wiretapping, uh, that he's going to be asked directly. And I would think, based on having the chairman and ranking member of both the House and Senate committee saying there's no evidence to support uh, the claim by President Trump, that uh, Director Comey. Uh, will affirm that as well. So I, I, I think we're probably headed to at least getting one issue hopefully resolved. As to the Russia investigation, I think uh, he's going to be much more circumspect and we'll have to wait for that investigation to play out. <laughs> We she know me to see loose did a hill off from his now. Got out. Oh, sly, who said I never follow up. He mocked her as does time. Marshness there fell me elk the drove the sit. Snit of a one's red me a seed of it. Then a snisly half of burn my meat and run a merch didn't give I. Now she had to get the wild night. Brings us to Leon Panetta, who served as both Secretary of Defense and Director of the CIA under President Obama. Secretary Panetta, good morning. Good to have you with us. Nice to be with you both. So there are two issues that are going to be before the House Intelligence Committee this morning. Number one, whether or not Trump campaign officials colluded with Russia in its interference in the election. And secondly, this explosive wiretapping claim by President Trump. In this public setting, is Director Comey going to be able to provide a definitive answer on either of those issues? How important is it for him to testify publicly with all of this swirling around? Marsh <laughs> 
This right here, right here is payback from way back. I don't play that. Play that. This right here, right here is payback. From way back, I don't play that. Play that. Right this here, right here, right here is payback. Right From way here, back, I don't right play that. This right here, right here is payback. Right From way here, back, right I don't right play that. He said this. It made me think. It made me think. He said this. It made me think. It made me think.